lot of people when when um, Traveler became successful um, hoped that it was it signaled some sort of change in country music. Uh, I think it was just uh, I, I don't know if I fought back on that. I, and I don't know that I'm not, I'm not I don't see myself as some kind of fighting the good fight guy, you know, like, right. or, I think a lot of people, I think that's a thing that gets made up in mm -hmm. uh, media and culture where one thing is right and one thing is wrong. And, yeah. uh, but, you know, I always feel like if you don't like one kind of music or the other, uh, it's just not for you. Obviously, there's lots of people who like other kinds of music, mm -hmm. even within the realm of what we call country today. So, um I'm only worried about what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. or how I present music. Uh, that I, and I just try to do things that I want to listen to. And I think that's what everybody else is trying to do too. Yeah. Like I, maybe somewhere that somebody's trying to do things just because they think it'll get played on the radio or make money or something like that. But those things rarely get played on the radio or make money. Yeah. You know, I think you're making it for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. and eventually, that catches up with you. Did you ever? Did you ever? I mean, in all the songs you wrote, did you ever write a song to get played on the radio? To get played on the radio? Well, I mean, when you're a songwriter, that's part of your job. Is yeah. To, is, <laughs> yeah. Is, is to write those songs, and uh, so you know how they're made. I know how they're made, and I. But I also, you know, know that there's two kinds of songs you can have on the radio. There's there's a song that can be a hit. And there's a song that can move the needle mm -hmm. and be impactful for an artist. And What's the difference? I don't know the difference. <laughs> That's the thing. But you always just try to make something that doesn't seem, for me, um, you always try to be as timeless as you can be. Mm -hmm. I think timeless is, is a word that you try to inject into music that sometimes in the short, maybe it sounds like I'm, I'm not knocking songs, songs that are hits for the sake of being hits. We need the hits for the sake of being hits. Yeah. Uh, because they pay for the move the needle songs. Yeah. You know. It, and I get it. And they're all part of the same wheel. Yeah. You know, and they're and they're not one's not good and evil, one's not bad or you know. Everybody likes to listen to a song just because it's fun. Nobody wants to sit around yeah. and listen to. I really have to analyze these lyric songs all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. We need both. Well, yeah, you, you need great <laughs> you need great pop songs, right? right? I mean, and and there's an art to a great pop song. Absolutely, right. If there wasn't, everybody'd be doing it. Right, right. And you can and you and you know how hard it is to do it. It's extremely hard to write a hit song, and anybody that thinks it's easy uh, just hasn't done it. Mm -hmm. And it pays well enough, they'd be doing it if they could. <laughs> yes, they would. <laughs> and there's a lot of people who've tried. That's what I'm saying. <laughs>